So hey, YouTubers. Hey, I'm gonna make a quick video here. Well, I'll try to make it quick anyway. So um, this is a stock uh, rocker arm for Volkswagen uh, Bug or Type 1 engine. And I thought I would see about making a solid rocker shaft you know, a do-it-yourselfer instead of uh, buying the the solid rocker shaft uh, kit that MP sells or one of the other ones. That basically what it is, if you don't know, is these little clips here, and then you got a spacer and a like a waffle, like uh, flexi washer in between that kind of puts tension on it. Those uh, tend to wear out and can get in your valve train area, even wreck an engine. So. It's good to get a solid rocker shaft. So I wanted to show you what I found out. So I'm gonna to try to make a quick, I'm gonna take this thing apart and then, uh, so you can see that and then we'll talk about what we're gonna be doing. So this is just my pure opinion about things. This is just how I do things. I'm not an expert. Um, think for yourself. Uh, anyway, you just pull these pins here. Just pop that off there. And like I said, there's spacer, spacer washers, and then here's the one that, you know, tends to you know, go out after a while, they, after a while they get wear, wore. So you just pop that out, pop these uh, arms off. This has been pretty clean. I've already cleaned it, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make it quicker. So anyway, just pop these uh, off and get this thing down to, to the bare shaft and I'm going to show you what I found out um, I'm sure there's tons of other people that have done this there's no way that I thought of it on my own I'm sure that other people have done it but what I'm trying to get to is um, this shaft right here is you know the stock one and so when you buy a rocker arm kit for a solid shaft kit basically the length of it is where this notch is and this notch in it here they sh have shortened it up and then put a screw and a washer at the end so you can avoid the clips and then the center has a spacer well i found this spacer at the hardware store and it's like freaking amazing it's absolutely perfect for a solid sh rocker shaft and i paid 2.99 for it it's a hillman um the spacer metal spacer and uh, and then I bought an eight millimeter, two eight millimeter uh, by one by one point two five thread uh, for the bolt on the outside, a fender washer, a lock washer. So basically, what we'll be doing is we'll be putting this spacer in the middle. We will chop these ends off, and then I will drill and tap. For this to be on the end here so that it locks all in and then we'll talk about the spacers you can however put it all back together with spacers and then just use these pins here if you don't want to chop it off and you know don't have a tap so anyway i'm going to get to it prep it and uh, i'll be stopping and starting the video as we go so what i've uh continued with here after this shaft's all cleaned up is i've just blue taped so I have a nice continuous line of where I'm going to be cutting these. So I'm going to get right on it here in the vise and we're going to um, just cut this thing down and you know I'm going to just assume that you guys are doing the same one as I'm talking about with the tap. So uh, I'm going to just get this ready to get cutting. Alright, I got my safety glasses on so we're going to go ahead and trim this bad boy up. Just take a nice grinder wheel here and just take your time going around. There's one cut. All 
There's the second cut. So you can see basically how much I took off on each end here. Got this end here that's uh, nice and flush and straight and we'll go ahead and touch those up on the grinder. Here's what basically is, is taken off right here. This just chunk of piece, you can get the zoom in there. All right. So that just gets rid of that area that, for the clips. Try to just clean these burrs up, make sure it, it's uh, everything's you know, looking nice. That's all I'm trying to do here. Just lightly touching it here. Let's try to get a nice finished edge on it. Let's see, so, so basically there's what I'm trying to look at here. And I might take a little bit of sandpaper and, uh, but as long as it's flat and a little bit of 45 angle, that's all that really matters to get it ready. Okay, so I got the centers uh, marked here. As you can see, I've got these things cleaned up. Now it's just, uh, you know, it's cut to the dimensions that we need. So we're going to go ahead and drill a hole here. I don't know why this isn't focusing in, but uh, we're going to drill a hole here and, uh, and tap it. What I'm going to use here is this uh, tap here, which is a, an a 8 millimeter. I don't know why this camera's not zooming in right, but it's in, it's a eight millimeter by 1.25, and then the drill bit that drills for it is a 1764th. So we're gonna get this set up to do that. All right, we're gonna use a little cutting oil, grease, just to get her going. So I got one of the holes drilled. I had to put the screw here and, and wrap it with a rag and just so I had a better grip, you know, make sure it was safe. And then also on the drill bit, I put a piece of tape on there to make sure I had the depth right. But we got that, that depth in the hole drilled. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. All right, we're back over here. We got the two holes drilled out, as you can see. I usually like to keep this bolt in here because as you're setting this up, for the uh, to go ahead and uh, get these uh, tapped out, these threads. Um, you know, sometimes you can't get it in the vise strong enough, so that bolt will make it stay put in the vise when you're turning the tap. This is pretty tough metal. I mean, this is the real, the real deal, German steel, and 